Hey guys, welcome to Dwarf and Kegger. I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we're going to be reviewing the New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. It's 9% from New Belgium. Let's see how it pours. It's a lot clearer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Or especially I'm kind of, an Imperial. I'm kind of surprised. Wow. First of all, the thing you noticed first is that uh, Imperial IPA Voodoo Ranger. Look at that label. That looks like the little dude off of um, in the beginning of like heavy metal, where they're in space and they're in the Call pub. it heavy metal. <laughs> and they're in space and there's the skeleton in the ship. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh man, that smells all of like an Imperial IPA oh, man. Should smell. Oh. Disclaimer, I'm not a huge IPA fan. I'm trying to get there, but I'm just not there yet. Um, if you notice, that disclaimer's been on several videos. Ugh. Wow. That's <laughs> so bitter. So that's a, that's a lot, lot more bitter than I expect. Um, mm. We um, have been trying to, uh, to find an IPA that we really enjoy. Uh, unfortunately, ah. um, Tanner has only found one so far. Only one. And that, this ain't the one. I'll be honest. I'm not a huge IPA fan. And everything I don't enjoy about an IPA <laughs> is kind of in this beer. It's... it's Deja, deja vu? A little bit. It's bitter. Um, it's very fresh. I will give it that. Um, but it's... Man, I don't know. It's not really doing much for me. I think it's great. Um, is, an it's IPA, got, is an IPA drinker, are you going to want to go back to a beer like that? I would I would buy a case of this. Mm. It is, in my opinion, it's really good. Um, it has a, a a very strong citrus note at the end. It's understood. Um, it's very strong. It's, I mean, it's, it's, okay, so coming from my, my background, um, I have several times used straight orange peel and grapefruit peel to make sauces. And when you get too deep into the peel and you start getting into more of the, the pulp, the white part, um, you get a lot of that bitter, the bitter note. And that's really what it tastes like. I mean, it, it does. It tastes like you've but, um, used a lot of the pulpy um, peel. But I'll, but I'll have to say, if that's what you enjoy in a beer, you are going to enjoy a lot of different parts of this beer because you get the bitter you get that strong floral taste you get that fruit kind of like undertone i mean so you get that it's yeah. really good i think it's i think it's awesome i know that he's not a fan um i'm sorry he's, what made you believe that the face um, <laughs> the face the fact that the, i've been grimacing the, the whole demeanor time. i've been of drinking it, of you right now um now, you know, of course, he's coming from a, the nine, a fan of stouts. and The 9% and, and, helps it, though. I will say that the 9% helps kind of smooth out that back end that, while you do get hit with a very bitter flavor initially, it doesn't linger often. Um, and I think a part of that is the high alcohol content, that 9% alcohol that's helps smoothing out that back end. It's, so got, a, I will it's, got, a, it's, it's got a very fast uh, fade on the bitter at the end. It does. And it's I, I think it's quite good. Um, I would, what do you think you'd give it? I would probably rate this as a solid four, as an IPA. Um, as an Imperial IPA, I would, I would probably give it a 4.2. Um, so... As not being a fan of um, IPAs, I'd probably put it somewhere. I, I have to be straight at three. Um, it's not bad, but it's nothing special. If you're not a fan of IPAs, there's not going to be a lot that draws you back to this beer. Um, the cat roaming in the corner behind us. But uh, Why are you such a creep? Well, we're trying to do a video! Anyway, um, my recommendation would be for this beer, not against it. If you like IPAs, you're going to like this beer. If you don't like IPAs, you're not going to like this beer. Anyway, this has been Dwarven Kegger. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.